Hey everybody, Lysandra Everett here, and um, I'm jumping on out there and making this testimonial video. Um, and it comes in response to uh, Shalanda's call this morning, and it uh, was today the 27th. I should know that because there's so I'm excited. Um, but one of the things that she said spoke to me, and she said that you are experiencing what you believe right now and so I really started to ask myself you know well, what do I believe right now and um, one of the things that I've always related to is the story of Ishmael in the Bible and as a side note I see why everybody's doing all this crying now because I'm like dude what is up with all this crying going on in these videos <laughs> but I get it it's about that transparency and sharing what cuts deep to you and it cuts deep to me so um y'all know the story of ishmael and if you don't go get a bible read genesis um but the thing about it is is i've always related to that story um you know my my parents were never married and um and it's one of those things I was cool with, but it was, I was always different. And I was born in 71, and um, and so to be born out of wedlock meant that you were less than, you know. And, you know, I relate to the story because, you know, God made a covenant with Abraham through Isaac and Isaac's lineage. And Ishmael was kind of kicked to a curb and you know you go to church and everybody's like oh the blessings of Abraham and I always thought to myself well what about Ishmael you know why wasn't he good enough because in reality I was asking why wasn't I good enough but as um, I was going to I was listening to the call I was on my way to get my oil changed and um, I took my Bible with me and so while I was sitting waiting for my car I began to read that story and um, and I read it over and over and but today it, it clicked to me today yes my name is Ishmael and I was always separate. I was always different. But the part that people never talk about was that God blessed Ishmael too. No, he wasn't in the covenant. But because God said so, he said that Ishmael would have a great nation and you know, so when Hagar decided to, that she didn't want, when, I'm sorry, when Sarah decided that she didn't want Hagar and Ishmael around anymore, um, Abraham gave them enough just to get gone. And, um, and I'm like, gosh, he, he left them with nothing. And that's not what happened to me. Um, you know, just to clarify that. Um, but... The thing about it is that Ishmael was the side kid, you know? Can you imagine that? I'm growing up, and my dad, um, you know, my mother decided that she didn't want to marry my dad, which I am totally cool with. Trust me on that. But, um, but in being around my dad, who became a minister, he became a preacher when I was seven, you know, I always had to be explained. I didn't like that. Like, why do people feel like they have to explain me? You know, nobody else gets those questions. Nobody else has to be explained. You know, why does that have to be me? And even to this day, here I am, 41 years old, and it still hurts. It hurts. And, um, but back to my story, but today I was reading 
the story and um, and I realized that people skip over the fact that God did bless Ishmael. Ishmael had 12 sons and he started with nothing. So I'm assuming Ishmael was a great entrepreneur upside. Um, but today I realized that yes, I am Ishmael. And yes, God is going to give me what he promised. I am going to give birth to my nation from nothing. Leave something to my children from nothing. I realized that, yes, even though it's difficult, my father loves me. I love my father even though I really don't want to. But I know, now I know that this is my time. I am worthy. I am blessed. And this is my time. And I know you guys really don't see me much. I'm not, um, I don't know, what's the word? I don't know. I'm just not really out there. And um, I don't know, maybe today, from now on, this will change. Well, not right now, because my computer's in the shop, and so I'm really hoping this video comes out. But um, I'm sharing this with you um, for that air of transparency. So, you know, and how does this relate to Empower Network? Because everything is where it's supposed to be next. I mean, I was an Empower Network um, on another team, and I still didn't have that something. I didn't have that connection, and I was all in, you know, and I told this story on the, um, on the testimonial call on a Friday, but um, I had been working, waiting to work with Nicole for a year, I think. I don't know, um, and so she's like, okay, well, you need to get on the team. And so, I mean, I have like, dude, I've already bought all this stuff. Are you kidding me? But then I asked myself, do you believe in yourself to do it again? And oh, by the way, I went in all in when going all in was way cheaper than it is now. But, um, but I know that it was worth spending the extra money. It, it is. It was, it is, it will continue to be because I feel blessed to be in the presence of people who are doing what I'm doing. I feel blessed to be in the presence of people who are just sharing their stories and are, you know, hey, get over it, get through it, get on with your business. Lorena, if you watch this, I, I watched your video. And I am so proud of you for persevering. And to everybody who is persevering, who is stepping on out there and going strictly on faith and work. So I appreciate you uh, sharing those stories. And I'm sorry, I'm blubbering and crying and messing up this fabulous makeup, but whatever. Um, so, uh, just keep sharing. I mean, keep doing, keep working, keep praying, keep, just don't, don't stop and don't give up because if I can do it, if you can do it. If, you know, I, you know, I use Lorena, if you don't know where your child is and you can still work this business, you can do it. If you still got father issues, like I do, and I'm still going to work this business, and to my fathers out there, look at me, and look at my face right now, please understand the impact you have in your daughter's lives, just by the way that you treat them, and how they respond to you by your presence or your absence. Okay, if you haven't made up with your daughter for whatever reason, do it today. If you've 
and God take your medicine, respond to your children, and do it today. So they won't end up hurting and feeling like they're not good enough in their body. So, okay, I think I have cried enough. I have work to do. I've got kids to pick up. But um, I'm excited to see as many of you as possible in San Diego. This is the first chance I'm ever getting to go to an event, and I'm so, so excited. So, to my Dream Team family, I'm hoping to get to know you better. To my AIG family, continue to rock on. I totally love you. And uh, we're just going to have a great time. And I will see you all later. Bye.